What's up YouTube? So I wanted to make a video talking about what gear I use because, well, you know what, I mean, eventually it was going to be asked what kind of gear do I use, you know, camera, sound, stuff like that, so I just decided to make a quick list of uh, a few of the things that I use to shoot my videos. I'm not going to go through everything because it's just going to be too extensive of a list, so I'm just going to go through, you know, the, the, most key, uh, the most key gear that I have. So the first question that comes up, well, usually amongst us, is what camera do you use? You know, what camera do you use? What camera do you use? What I have is the Canon T2i. And I know it's not a T3 or T4i, but you know what? It does the trick for me. I was able... I was able to... I was, I'm pretty impressed by it still. You know, it's just... I mean, it, it does... Like I said, it does the job for me. I would love to upgrade sooner or later, but I was surprised that I was able to, like, you know push it a little bit like for fear uh, I was surprised that I was able to you know take things down and not get extremely grainy results you know I mean this coupled with the lens that I was using so yeah I mean that was just uh, really surprising for me and yeah you know I mean it's it's been a workhorse and I just plan to keep using it until I upgrade now that I mentioned the lenses I also have uh, three of them one of them is the kit lens that came with it it's an 18 to 55 millimeter I also have a 55 to 250. It's a, more of a telephoto, but the one I primarily use the most is is just a a prime a prime lens 50 millimeter. And the reason why I use this one is because it works very well in low light. I think I can get like f 1.8. Uh, I can go down to like a f stop of that, and it. I don't know, I mean, I just really like it. So this 50mm, it's really, it's a really good lens. I mean, you can get into like really dark areas and not go all too contrasty, like I said, you know, with fear, but also with uh, my latest short Missing Her, you know, it, I was able to get this really nice contrasty look. And I don't know, I just, I just like shooting, you know, in low light a lot, but, uh, you know, I don't like to get a lot of grain in there. So, you know, a lot of noise and stuff like that. So anyway, yeah, that's, that's what I like to use. As for sound, I like using the Zoom H4n. Uh, it's really portable. I just like carrying it around. You know, I, I, I like you know just toying with the settings here and there. But I know I know exactly what the what I'm gonna get. And you know, I mean, it's, it has a it has a few a few pretty good preamps here and there. It doesn't have the best mic built-in mic in the world. But then again, you know, I don't really use it. Uh, I mean, you can tell in some of my earlier videos that I use the onboard mic because uh, you you get to hear a little bit of noise floor. So if you get to hear a little tss in the background, it's because I use uh, the onboard mic. So that segues into what microphone I'm using. Uh, right now, I'm using the Sennheiser ME66. It's I don't know, it's really good. I didn't know how sensitive it was going to be. You know, I, I had a I had a Rode NTG2 and just comparing them was night and day. So I was like, whoa, what, what is this? So it was a really, really hot mic and I was just really surprised at how sensitive it is. So that's what I'm using right now instead of the NTG2. And with that said, if I if I needed a boom or anything like that, I just have a, I just have a Rode uh, boom pole. I think it goes up to 10 feet. But yeah, it, and unlike my uh, super duper widescreen video, it does not go 100 feet because uh, yeah, I wouldn't be able to, like I said, to uh, I can't hold it up anymore. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to hold it up anymore. Now for lighting. I know lighting can be tricky. I know it can be cumbersome. I know it can be costly. I mean, just like, you know, just like camera. Uh, so what I have, it's, um, I just have a, an e-photo light kit. Uh, it's a... Uh, I have four lights right now, just four lights on soft boxes. Uh, nothing too powerful and stuff like that, but uh, they're, they're, they do the job. I mean, like I said, I have four soft boxes. If you notice in my earlier videos, they look a little bit darker because the thing is, I had two lights at the time and I was just trying to light the best I could with two lights. And I also had no gels, so I had to, if I had any practicals or any, any regular lights, I had to turn those off and use that. And it was, you could see my videos were a little darker back then. But now I have four and I'm pretty happy, but I'm thinking of getting a couple more or a few more. You know, you can never have enough lights. So as for editing, um, I'm using Final Cut, uh, not even 7, I'm using 6 because, I mean, like I said, that's that's how much I can't afford something right now. Uh, I plan to upgrade to 10 
as soon as possible, or, or how I like to call it, FCPX. <laughs> uh, don't ask why I call it FCPX. But yes, I plan to upgrade to that as soon as possible. So yeah, I mean, I just, you know, I just want to learn it. I just want to feel like, you know, I'm upgraded properly on, on an NLE. So anyway, uh, there you go. If you guys have any questions about the gear that I'm using now, I hopefully I have answered them. So anyway, I will talk to you guys next time, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, take it easy. Bye.